Will it impact LeBron's legacy if Steph Curry or KD end up with more rings than LeBron James? I don't think LeBron James' legacy is based off of Steph Curry or Kevin Durant. I think LeBron James is trying to be the greatest player of all time. I think he is chasing Michael Jordan. And I think if the ring conversation comes into play, it's, it's Michael's six rings. I don't think it has to do with Steph Curry or Kevin Durant, other than the fact they are the team that he's going to need to beat to get more rings. And we look at LeBron James, the point he's at in his career, his decision to go to the L.A. Lakers, I think part of that is about, of course, contending for championships because LeBron James is a winner and he wants to continue to win. But for him, I think the decision was big picture. It had much more to do with where he wanted to live, the environment he wanted to be in, his family, the legacy, and what the Los Angeles Lakers are being a part of that, the attempts to bring them back to the type of level that they are accustomed, considering the fact they missed the last five playoffs. So I think for LeBron James, his goals – um, his vision is much bigger than ring chasing what Steph and KD have. Yeah, Nick, let's go over Shaq's career. Drafted, mm -hmm. right, by Orlando. Yep. Right, played how many years there? Played five years in Orlando. Did he win there? No. Went was, to it the considered, was it considered a success when he left? No, I mean no. Okay, no they, won, they made one NBA Finals. I mean, you could. Uh, they got swept by Akeem. I, I mean, I. He was the best player in franchise history. They were a young franchise, but they were disappointed they lost. Right. Him, so, end up going to the Lakers. Yep. Right. Won how many championships there? Three. Three. Why did he leave the Lakers? He and Kobe hated each other. Okay, so after that, where did he go? Miami. Miami won a championship with who? Correct. With Dwayne Wade. Yeah, as the best player. And then where'd he go after that? A whole bunch of places. Phoenix. My, he went to Phoenix. He went to Boston. Didn't he stop in? I, didn't yeah. I see him in Cleveland? Yes, yeah. absolutely. With the King? With LeBron yeah. James, yeah. So it's hard. I can understand sometime when you try to use your psyche to talk about someone else's, but how Shaq went about his career was totally different. Like, it's not, it's not even comparable. Like, Shaq didn't have the decision at this point in his career because he was in such bad shape. Like, he was just a, a rent, a former superstar. Like, that's all he was doing late in his career. LeBron's decision-making has been totally different. His decision at the end is basketball-related, also family, legacy, business Related, So he couldn't make a just about – if not, he could have gone to Golden State. And if he had gotten more rings with them, what would, what would Shaq be saying then? It, his commentary would be totally different. I was just surprised at this Shaq, just how petty he was with Kobe. And I can understand maybe Tim Duncan not wanting as many rings as, as, as Tim, but he had a chance to dominate the NBA. You should have been working on your conditioning, staying in shape so maybe you wouldn't be injured. Like, because Shaq could have dominated for a longer period Shaq of time. Shaq should be in the GOAT conversation. Yes. Period, point blank. Shaq. Absolutely. Because I, I believe to this day that if you have to have one basketball game, your life depends on it, you can have any player in the history of the league at the peak of their powers. You always say Shaq. Give me Shaq. Yeah. Give me Apex Shaq for one game. But you got to bake in some stuff. <laughs> Shaq in shape. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Apex, apex Shaq. Yeah, no, no. But you got to say in shape because we can't apex. We would say, give me an apex Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Give me well, an apex LeBron. That, all those guys are in shape at, at all stages and, of their career. And the reason that Shaq, instead of being in that conversation, is right outside most people's top ten and behind Duncan and for a lot of people behind Kobe is not because either of their those players' peak was higher, but they stayed there so much longer. Those guys were both 20-year players. Shaq played close to 20, but effectively, how many years are we talking about? Well, he, once he left the Lakers, he had one great year in Miami, one good year in Miami, and then after that fourth ring, I believe once he thought, because keep in mind, Shaq kind of betrays himself there. He says, I was worried about Kobe, I was worried about Duncan. Once Shaq got his fourth ring, Kobe was missing the playoffs and getting bounced in the first round. Tim Duncan hadn't had, at that moment in time, only had three. And he probably thinks, I got it. Right. Guess what? <laughs> I'm the best player of my generation. And to me, the those one, guys aren't winning. And, and he took his foot off the look, gas. Why didn't he have Jordan in his sights? He's already got three. He's talking about Duncan and Kobe, a guy who didn't want to play with in Kobe. Mm -hmm. To me, Shaq was in, at that point in his career, a, a little bit like mellow ish change. He got in great shape in Miami. He was in unbelievable and he shape damn with Pat Riley. MVP. But that's to me, like every time you think about who is your all-time starting five, mm -hmm. 
at center. How many people would say Shaq? How many people automatically? And he should, to me. He should be. He should and be. And he's on nobodies. He can't be. It's got, like, listen, this is the tough thing for Shaq. He is the most, like, LeBron, you can argue, is one of the most, just God-given gifts, right? One of the greatest things he didn't earn. He, God touched him, as you would say, see. LeBron is at near the top of the list. Shaq is near the top of the list. But what you can't say about LeBron is he didn't make the most of it. He didn't get. Yes. He didn't get every last ounce of right. his if physical ability. If we were having ability. a DNA draft, yeah, Shaq and LeBron would be in there. You got right. the in the first five picks. You got to pick one of right. them. Right. Maybe Carl Malone gets in there as well. There's a few other. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah. a few yes. guys. And but LeBron got the most out of it. And I'm not here to defame Shaq. This is one of the 14 greatest players in the history of this great game. But. He, the reason Shaq is doing the Kobe Duncan thing is because that is who's the best player of that era. Like, and I, and I would say it mm -hmm. goes, I would say it goes Duncan, yeah, Kobe, Shaq. Even though Shaq was at his peak, was the best. There is to circle back to your point. Ain't nobody who wants to be honest debating who's the best player of the era: LeBron, KD, or Steph. It's not even There's one to. debate left that matters: LeBron versus Michael, and you can make the argument Kareem shouldn't have been forgotten from this discussion a long time ago. But that's the mm -hmm. debate that matters. And if it comes down to rings, then of course LeBron's going to fall short. But I do think people need to recognize the NBA has changed in how accessible the rings are. For a long time it was, who's the best player in the league? If he doesn't win a ring, something bad happened. Yep. Golden State changed that. Yep. And like we we have seen in the last two NBA finals, LeBron James has averaged 34, 10, and 10 on 55% shooting. And he's won one game. Not one finals, one mm -hmm. game. In order to beat Golden State the one time they did, he had to have the greatest three-game stretch in the history of the league. Like the count the rings discussion has changed when the three-point shots change and when the super teams well, have and changed. And like you said, I would love to hear what Shaq would say and how the dialogue would change if LeBron went somewhere else that if he had went, he went to, to Houston. Houston or if he went, yes. then it would be like, oh, he's just chasing rings. I thought he wanted to be the greatest of all time, and now he's joining these guys. I would never do this. So that's why it, it's a convenient argument, but I don't think it's one that really holds a lot of water yeah. considering I what LeBron James that. is trying to do with I saw Shaq last legacy. night on Shark or Shark Week. I'd have been cheering for the Shark. I've been cheering for the Shark. Sarah, thanks for joining us. Shaq, you know